Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jake Kurt. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I wanted to make a quick tutorial today going over a little issue I had in DaVinci Resolve 16. Happened when it, I was trying to render out a project and it gave me a render job failed error and it said that the fusion composition on the current frame or clip could not be processed. Now it kind of hung me up for a while. I was trying to export a project, get it over to a client. Um, you know, it hung me up for about an hour, but I did find a workaround and I figured Somebody else could probably use this workaround as well. So let's check it out and I'll show you what I did to get around it. All right, we're in DaVinci Resolve 16 here. This is actually 16.1 public beta. And I'm sure this is just an issue with the beta, but as you can see, we just ran into an issue trying to render out this job. It says render job seven failed as the current clip could not be processed. The fusion composition on the current frame or clip could not be processed successfully. And I've been running into this issue Quite a bit, as you can see, all, all these these jobs here I've tried to render. Um, you know, like I said, it hung me up for quite some time. Um, if you go over here to the timeline, you can see I just have, you know, a normal project here. I'm gonna open this up so you can see it, and some sound design, and there's some fusion clips worked in here, some zooms, and and all and all that type of stuff. Now the problem is obviously that it's it's not rendering out for me and I thought that I could do a simple copy and paste onto a new timeline. So I copy and paste everything to a new timeline and was still getting the same issue. It was still giving me a render job fail. Now what I found was the solution was actually creating a new project. So what we'll do here is we'll actually command A, select everything. Command C to copy everything, and then the shortcut for a new project is Shift One. So do Shift One. We're going to do a new project. New project's going to be Render Test One. Go ahead and create that project. We'll open up the project settings down here in the lower right hand corner. Hit this little wheel here. Now I just wanted to export this in 1080. My frame rate was 29.97, and then my playback rate is also the same thing. Um, since we're in here, I always just change these. I leave optimized media resolution to automatically. I change down the optimized medias to 422 proxy. Bring it down to one second on the background cache and automatically cache the transitions as well as the composites. All right, here we go. All right, so we're in our a brand new, not only timeline, but we also have a new project. This is our render test one project, it's our new timeline. We're gonna control V. Now if we control V and close up this media pool, shift Z to size it correctly to your timeline, you can see everything. And you'll notice we still have the same project here. My fusion composition is actually transferred over. And you can tell by some of these here, it zooms in goes out, it's got to render. Another quick little setting is if you go up to your, where is it at here, playback, and then you'll go to render cache, change that to smart. That'll decide what needs to render and when it'll render, and that gives you these little red bars here, and they'll turn blue when they're ready to play back at, at real time. All right, anyways, so now let's try and render this out for delivery. So what we're gonna do, change this name to render test one. Location, we're just gonna put this into the downloads folder for right now. Now we're gonna leave it at QuickTime, 1080p, 29.97, 30 frames per second. I always go down here to advanced settings Make sure I check force size to highest quality and force debayer to highest quality. I always make sure I leave those checked. Everything else here looks good. We're gonna add that to the render queue. Go ahead and let's see if we can render this out. All right, and as you'll see here, the job completed. Render worked. I'm gonna open it up the file here in my downloads. And there it is. Perfectly. So 
So as you see, everything's in here just as it should be. And that's a little workaround. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see some more videos or tutorials on DaVinci Resolve 16, leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to take a look at them and see if the, I can't help in uh, any way possible. Thanks for watching.